Hey guys, hope everybody's having fun, right? You know, uh, like a lot of you that are sitting here, when I first got started, uh, prior to getting started with Metro, I was a EMT working in an ambulance. And uh, I was dissatisfied with what I was doing. You know, as a matter of fact, I remember every time I saw an EMT in a hospital and say, hey, how you doing? They would put this sour face on and they say, live in the dream. <laughs> I just couldn't understand why you would say living the dream when you have a sour face like that. But anyway, I was discontent. I had discontent in, in what I was doing, and at that time, my daughter had an incident in her house. She uh, went to her insurance company. They gave her gracious a uh, fifty-eight dollar check. It was actually a thousand fifty-eight dollars. They said you had a thousand dollar deductible. Here's your fifty-eight dollar check. So, being the smart cookie she is, she came out like her mom. Um, she went out there, did some research on Google, and found that a public adjuster could help. And she went and, and found Metro. Now, Metro went back, did the, uh, reopen the claim, had the same adjuster that she had before, right? You know she can't just replace five shingles, yeah, you're right. You know she had damage to the attic with the insulin. Yeah, you're right. You know she had damage to, right? So after all these, yeah, you're right, she ended up getting 9,780 bucks. So that was, right? So here's the key. The key is that the person that went to her and did the claim left some information and said, we're hiring. And she came to me and said, hey, dad, you know, we hired, they hired. Because she knew how I felt about what I was doing. And the bottom line is, I went and I called this person. And here's another key. You know, I went and called the person. I couldn't get in contact with the person that left that information. So I did my own research on Google about Metro Public Adjustment. And guess what? I came up with Mr. Art Natanzi. And so I called Art. And Art met with me right away, got me to a presentation, and, uh, and I signed up. Now, the first thing I said to Art was, hey, uh, is there anything we could do on the internet for this? And he said to me, the internet is for lazy people. <laughs> and I said, man, that's perfect for me then. <laughs> right? Now, listen, I'm not lazy, and my wife will tell you, uh, I'm more of a cons uh, 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 an activist for the conservation of energy, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fact of the matter is, I said, you know what, uh, because I started at a, at a part-time basis, a lot of us start on a part-time basis, right? So I said, I got to figure out how I can get myself out there, and I, I did some study, and I, did, I picked up some books, and and slowly just put myself out there and, and got the phone to ring, which, which helped. But here's what I'm going to tell you guys. You know, this is an absolutely incredible business because, you know, when I started as an EMT, I was looking to help people. And I found out I was frustrated that I wasn't helping people to the capacity that I thought I should or could be. And then when I became a public adjuster, I mean, when I saw the results my daughter had, $58 to almost $10,000, that's, that's helping people, right? And so I, I feel now that I'm helping people at a higher level and a greater capacity. So what I'm telling you guys is this, you know, when you go out there and you, you put that as your focus, that you're out there to help people, then the business becomes effortless. Right when you're out there trying to get claims and and find uh, find the money, it becomes more of a struggle. But if your focus is I'm going to go out there and help people, then it becomes an effortless thing, guys. So that's it. That's my story.